if we're in R2, that is to say, if our vector has two elements, we can visualize vectors graphically. This is going to provide us with some useful intuition about scalar multiplication and vector addition. How do we graph a vector in R2? The key observation is that a vector in R2 is just a list of two numbers, A comma B. And if you have a list of two numbers that you want to represent graphics, we have a method of doing that, graphing on the Cartesian plane. So to visually represent this vector, we simply find the point A comma B. And what we do then, is draw an arrow connecting the origin to this point. And this gives us two very important pieces of information or intuition, let's say. Vectors have lengths. We won't define the length of a vector until much later in this course, but you should understand that fact now. Vectors have lengths, and in R2, the length of the vector is literally just the length of a line segment in R2. Second, you should understand that vectors have directions. You see this arrow here. This vector is pointing in some direction. So vectors have lengths and vectors have directions.